Hello, Jane. Nice to meet you. Hello, Yuji. Nice to meet you too. Nice to see you again. Thank you so much for coming to this videocast, to this broadcast. Uh, Jana Skokan is our honored guest today. And what I did before, I compile a short text under this video about what you do, what is your profession, what does your company do. Everything is written under this video, but please say with your own words, what, uh, what do you do professionally? What does your company do? Can you tell us, please? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Yiji, for, for doing this. And also thanks for having me, for inviting me and taking your time, you know, to, to spend a kind yeah. of pleasant few minutes together and talk about the stuff that is interesting for us and hopefully for some more people too. So uh, in short, uh, I represent Frogix. Frogix is a green tech marketplace. Uh, we are building a place uh, for experts and companies, solution providers in the segment of sustainable building and sustainable living. So a lot of uh, progressive, but also traditional uh, methods and technologies that we uh, would like to bring to the world, make it accessible, make it easy to take action and to kind of, you know, implement a solution, whether it's uh, optimizing your own house, uh, whether you look for an energy solution now, pretty much interesting in terms of, you know, the season which we are in, in terms of heating, etc. And uh, regarding the prices, I don't want to even start about this. And um, also the rest of elements that are connected uh, to a house, which is, you know, building materials or even the green elements when uh, talking about, uh, you know, garden, we have some different forms of farming, water management, etc. So this is what we work with. That's our little world. And uh, we like to build a network of uh, people uh, that represent those companies, those experts that can help uh, make a uh, our partners the right decisions and implement the right solution, which really brings the result that they look for. In order to understand deeper what you do, you know, it's uh, my next question about past achievements, which you can stress out some past achievements, which you are really happy to have done in the past. What would it, would it be or grateful for or happy about? What is it from your past? Do you mean personally or, or professionally or, or uh, uh, now? I would like to concentrate. Start start maybe with the professional, and then later uh, we can uh, we can skip to uh, to the personal also. Professional first. You you are curious. <laughs> so uh, professional. I mean, I was uh, before in my previous life. I was working marketing and uh, communication for a large uh, supply chain uh, company very international one. I was responsible for campaigns for uh, different programs that we were launching or rolling out. And um, we managed to achieve uh, pretty good results uh, in this uh, campaigns, of course, uh, due to uh, great teamwork, due to great people being engaged. And I was really mm -hmm. happy to be part of, of uh, such a team, such a spirit, and, uh, you know, seeing also uh, the accomplishment of these targets, which were also not easy. It was a corporate environment, so very, you know, ambitious, as, of course, as, as always. So, yeah, this is this is what I would uh, say is one of the, like, very positive moments in my, in my past, professionally. And um, privately, I mean, uh, achievement, it's bringing uh, two kids to the world, and, uh, you know, Sometimes you have, as a, as a mother, as a parent, you have these uh, challenging moments every day, I would say. However, it's a true gift to be a parent. And, uh, you know, I, I believe, uh, you know, making it to, the to, to you know, the stage where we are. Maya are something older than uh, four years now. I consider this certainly also a personal achievement. And, of course, it gives you a huge room to train every day. Patience communication, understanding, alignment, whatever you like to do, also vice versa. It's it's the family you need to find the first connection, I believe. So it's it's a great training, I would say, and, and a great platform to do this. So I, I'm really thankful for this. Perfect. Thank you, Jane. Uh, let's move to the present moment. Uh, mm -hmm. And I hope I'm pronouncing correctly for geeks. Is it correct pronunciation? What Definitely. Does... Right. What uh, which projects are you currently working on? You mentioned a couple of them already, but uh, tell us a little bit more about these projects which you are currently working on in Frog Geeks. Yes, yeah, so what we uh, are currently enabling is, uh, for example, there are 
buildings uh, being projected where we have the possibility to uh, suggest solutions uh, for them. Of course, we focus like on three core areas. And, uh, it's energy, it's uh, water, it's uh, green elements, green roofs, green walls. And uh, of course, uh, building materials are also a quite an interesting element that you can currently start to use more and more and to be efficient, to save costs, emissions, and uh, of course, create a healthy environment for everybody. So this is this is one of the projects. We have also um, clients and partners that uh, look to transform their products or, or, or processes or develop new products. And we're happy to connect them with our partners that can enable them to you know, redesign it, or look for new alternatives, uh, or maybe understand sustainability for their business in, in better detail or in more detail. So this is this is what we do. This is what we work on every day. Yes, yes. Uh, I will, at the end of this session, I will ask you a couple of questions, which I noted down in the chat just for myself so that okay. I don't forget, because this is an interesting talk. You mentioned, you are mentioning some things which are interesting for me. So I will ask you at the end of the session, I will ask you more. But now let's go to the future. What will the future hold uh, for you? What uh, events or um, actions can you invite us to in the future, maybe? So the future is, I mean, what we believe in Frog is the future is what you make it. So I, we believe it's going to be a very bright future, but we will work hard for it. We need to work hard for it. So uh, how we do this, we have, you know, all types of, of engagements. We do have regular calls, which I would everybody like to invite to join. Uh, we are launching... Um, now also the, the series uh, of uh, Frog Geek Screen Tech Talk, it's like a little talk show that we are running uh, almost on a weekly base um, with experts from different fields and panel format or in webinar format where we share education information elements on certain topics. Recently, we had bamboo application in the construction segment. So what, what is coming? What are the new materials? What are the benefits of them? And uh, we have quite some topics on, on stock. Uh, the next upcoming where I would definitely like to invite you. I mean, first of all, you will find uh, most of the events of uh, set up via LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is really like the, the platform that we use uh, for the moment the most, but we are extending into other channels as well. And um, the next one uh, will be on green solutions for uh, temperature management in buildings. So we're going to talk a lot about green walls, uh, some different uh, approaches in terms of coating, what other elements that are sustainable and maybe low cost can be implemented that can save you a ton of energy, ton of costs and really create, uh, and you have a direct impact on your environment and create a healthy environment for yourself, for your family, for your community, or you know what you choose to do. Please, so everybody who is interested, please write down under this video, any question Jana will answer gladly and uh, also mm -hmm. if you need to request some contact details please ask Anna she will update uh, some LinkedIn uh, contacts for her and so on under this video and uh, let's go on uh, let's give it a little bit more a personal touch what are your hobbies Jana? So I'm I'm very creative. I'm very creative. I love to paint. I see you have also some paintings in your bag. So I see we share common ground here as well. And um, yeah, but nature. I'm I'm really a, a a geeky geeky person around nature. I love to be outside. I need it, and I really enjoy it. And um, so yeah, everything that is jogging. I do a lot of jogging, and you know, with kids, you have to go out in every weather. So this is a big advantage of that <laughs> in in this matter. What is your final message, takeaway message for your audience? Yeah, my, my message to the audience uh, would be, of course, uh, if you are in uh, the segment of sustainable building or sustainable living, please, we welcome you in the community. Join us, get visible. We have uh, people joining from all around the world. So whether you're in Africa, whether you're in Australia or Kazakhstan or Mongolia does not matter. U.S. of course, Latin America. We love you and Europe. Not to not to forget. 
So uh, we welcome you in the community. It's truly uh, impressive people that are part. I say people, it's not companies, it's people that are behind all the companies, all the expertise that are coming together, that are discussing there, that are really thinking you know, about how we can shape it and uh, how we can make the right choices, how we can make the right choices for us. And um, I welcome you there. I welcome you on all our webinars, as mentioned, the one on the green temperature. Uh, control Solutions is coming on 1st of December, if I recall that correctly. And um, yeah, let me know if you would like to reach out. You, I will add some channels, you know, some contact details regarding our channels. So you can just reach out to somebody from uh, myself or somebody from the team. We're happy to, you know, ask, answer any question. Yes, uh, Jana Skokan was our honored guest. Thank you, Jano. Thank you so much, Yuji, uh, for the opportunity. And now let's stay here for a background behind the scenes, frequently mm -hmm. asked questions. We have a couple of questions in the chat. They are from me because it's not live. But however, I will read the first question. Uh, trends in your field. How do you see the trends? Uh, are they changing or with the time, past, present, future? What are the trends in your field? So... Uh... Definitely. Uh, I mean, we have like two major segments. So uh, we look at the business development and mm -hmm. we look at um, this, the building, true building segments, you know, construction materials, uh, energy sourcing, etc. And when we talk about the, the business segment, despite all the discussion around ESG and, uh, you know, how good or, you know, how gray the, the, the shades are of the framework, um, Definitely, the trend is very clear. Businesses need to get ready to get sustainable, to be sustainable, to have a different business model, to you know find new sources of income because those which will miss the moment, they will be pushed out of the market. And the change may be uh, you know very abrupt. It, it's it's a matter of you know legislation being adopted, being adopted broadly, and then it's maybe a, also a sequence of of uh, actions by by countries that truly decide to not only commit or, or to pledge, they will do something, but truly commit to it and take the execute mm -hmm. on the, on the action. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely um, encourage businesses to start looking at the products and at their supply chains, prepare and look for opportunities, how they can earn money and don't harm the environment. So mm -hmm. for this, mm -hmm. they need to kind of open up for, for that. That is in terms of business and in terms of building, uh, for sure, there is also a lot of things that you see, like green uh, roofs, uh, green uh, walls being uh, made mandatory in some countries. You see strong, strong subventions for, for this elements, like 50% of, of the costs are being covered, even in Czech Republic. So, uh, so it's very diverse, you know, in France, it's it's different proportion. In Switzerland, it's different proportions, but still the trend is quite clear. We understand we need to do it. The government supports that. And there are incentives for people or companies that decide to do it early. If yeah. you decide to do it later, most probably you will do it because the results will be there. So you will save money and you will save energy, but you will not do it with the subvention. So, you know, it's as always with the early adopters. You, you need to bury a little bit of a risk being the first trying out things, but uh, you have also much more support. And, you know, once you do it uh, with the massive uh, rollout, I would say. So yeah, this is this is what uh, really indicates that yeah, there there are some exciting times coming. You hear a lot around you know three D printing and uh, it's you know there for for many years already. And uh, we can say it's also slow in the rollout, slow in getting into the mindset of people that are doing the projects, slow mm -hmm. in terms of understanding of architects how should they plan uh, the, the buildings and we see it right now that even if we have the opportunity to suggest it's not something that you know it's it's just right now kind of waking up or, or you know the awareness is, is being there that yes they are open to see what is at all possible so yeah it's it, we need to kind of speed up that that element as well and I think it's a matter of education so sharing what is possible and you know informing people on that Jane, do you have any questions for me? Definitely. I mean, what is your particular 
solution in terms of sustainability or, or element in terms of sustainability that maybe touches you in your personal life, but also maybe professionally that you see, mm. wow, you know, this is maybe something that is also going to impact me eventually. Yes, definitely. I will answer. I am in contact with Michael Rada. He is a friend of mine from Pozen, Czech Republic, and he's creating mm -hmm. a great network in the wasteless world. So I try to support him as much as possible. I would like to also support you and I can do it by four things, by four approaches, uh, enabling to my community, which is international. This is the first thing. Second thing, uh, podcasting like this. My name is Yiri Borch and this is podcast with me. Uh, third thing is the networking sessions. You are invited to come to my networking sessions, which are international. And there you can speak about what you do and share friendships and new uh, relationships with people. And uh, three things. Yeah, not four, <laughs> because I'm an English teacher too. And you, your English is great. So you don't need me there. So these three things. And uh, concerning my personal approach, of course, uh, uh, this is uh, very difficult because I uh, I naturally don't use car. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's it. I'm trying to think in a bigger, uh, bigger picture. Yeah, like, but we must start with ourselves, uh, uh, separating plastic into the waste, uh, not uh, using so much car, but it's difficult because uh, uh, these small things can help, of course, but uh, in a bigger picture, this can help too. So it's a very hard question. And uh, I hope I answered a little bit of it. So it's difficult. And what it, what is, uh, if I may deep, uh, dig deeper, so what is the particular Please. difficulty for, for you in, in that? Yes, this difficulty is to understand because this, uh, yeah, for example, there was a, there was a, there was some uh, conference recently uh, of all the countries in the world about uh, the weather, yes, and the environment. And they discussed the things there. And for me, it's very uh, difficult to understand, for example, if the our planet affects, th this is very, very hard for me to, to say in English also, but uh, basically mm -hmm. to understand if the people have the power to change the environment and the uh, to for better and i believe yes i believe we have like if we unite we have the power to change it but the nature itself is so powerful that it can change things too so it's like a it's very complex chaotic uh, matter and uh, it's very in important to be interested in it discuss about it with other people read about it watch uh, podcasts about this matter and that's why i am here with you Jake, today Thank you so much, Yuji, for supporting the topic and supporting, you know, sharing awareness on this and really appreciate, you know, uh, what you do also in terms of networking and, you know, helping professionals also in the segment in, in terms of sustainability to get fitter and also access more markets, you know, access different markets, connect with people, work on different products, because this is what we need. We need a true collaboration. So you asked me before about like message, message for the, for the audience. Uh, if we are to make it, to the next chapter of who we define to be as humanity, we need to collaborate. We need to certainly collaborate more. I mean, this is what you see right now. It's it's really like self-centered focus of, of countries, of, of companies, etc. So we need much more of uh, uh, having the understanding that we have better chances to survive if we cooperate, if we share knowledge, if we share information, if we exchange, if we, if we uh, create a, a sustainable chain uh, where everybody is a part and you let the chain or every part live it's like you know sustain itself so everybody has a has a role has you know uh, is enabled to function in in the system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you for your words yeah well, welcome and also great exchange love that you know always great to meet you and looking forward to uh, our next networking event and uh, love those sessions, you know, always great people that you have there and uh, great uh, corporations that can come up out of this. So appreciate it. Uh, usually great stuff.